Assalamualaikum and hi My name is Izzat Fakri bin Halimi My metric number is uh, 056818 I am from 3rd year LLB class This video is made for the subject of jurisprudence LLB 31303 And prepared for Sir Shafiq Sulaiman My group and I made an act Namely uh, Autonomous Driving Act 2022 so uh, we have five chapters in this act and I will be explaining about the fifth chapter. The title of the fifth chapter is Rules of the Road. Rules of the Road. <clears throat> the fifth chapter is begin with uh, section 17 until section 21. It consists of rules and punishment to the driver in Malaysia who drives an autonomous driving vehicle. In my chapter, I can relate the provision with the uh, Western jurisprudence where in legal positivism theory which founded by uh, John Austin law is the command of the sovereign imposing a duty uh, which is uh, enforceable by sanction so uh, there are three elements of law which are command, duty and sanction it can be demonstrated in section 17 clause 2, section 17 clause 3, section 18 clause 1, section 18 clause 2, section 19 clause 1, section 20 clause 1, section 20 clause 2, section 20 clause 3, section 21 clause 1 and section 21 clause 3. So from law, a person has not has a command by not injuring other person and that a person must obey the law. If the person disobey the law, there is uh, a sanction to punish, to punish the act. The punishment of driving dangerously, which uh, includes imprisonment and fine, is to impose obedience of the society, especially the person uh, towards the law from doing undesired act or behavior. Even the punishment is heavy and can be uh, disproportionate it is the best way to deter the person from uh, undesired behavior. Next, uh, I want to relate the provision with uh, Islamic jurisprudence. The concept of Makosi Sharia connotes the objective, purpose and goal of Sharia. It aims to guide and provide the life of a Muslim in accordance with the Islamic values and commands as stated in the Quran and Hadith. Thus, this concept is uh, closely related to the life of a Muslim. The reason is, uh, Makosa Sharia reflects a comprehensive view of life emphasized in Islam. So, according to an Islamic scholar, Apostle Sharia provides clear guidance and framework to the process of ijtihad in determining the issues uh, regarding the human interest while abiding the will of Allah. So, uh, there are three classifications of Apostle Sharia, and these are according to the levels of necessity. So, it comprises of daruriyat which means uh, necessities, hajiyat, which means needs, and tahsiniyat, which means luxuries. So it is to be noted that the most prioritized makhusid in Islam is daruriyat, which comprises of, among others, hifzu and nafsi, which means uh, the protection of life. In, the aspect, in this aspect, the Muslims are commanded to protect and maintain their lives. So, uh, however, uh, Islam also prohibits any acts that can harm the human body. According to an Islamic legal maxim, uh, when, when two harm clash, the less harmful must be chosen. This is interpreted from the maxim, indeed, the less harmful between the two mafsada is chosen to prevent a greater harm when uh, one of the two must be chosen. So, it can be in this uh, Islamic experience, we can apply in uh, section 21, clause 1. So, in the context of Makos Sharia, 
consuming alcohol can cause a disturbance to the body of human, including the brain. So if the brain cannot function accordingly, the judgment of the driver will affect his life and other life. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching.